Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Markilla Arena and welcoming Chef Mark Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Tough Ones Kitchen here at Chateau Markella. We're about to cook up for you an amazing champion's breakfast, none other by Chef Tough. We will be showing you how to make an awesome, organic, paleo, autoimmune-style breakfast. So check this out, daddy-o. Tune in, and you'll see the magic happen in this beautiful kitchen. All right, now to open up the steel container known as a refrigerator, we're gonna start off with a little bacon. Mark Tuff cannot go more than one day without having his bacon in the morning. That's right, and um, a little breakfast sausage, that's right. So we'll start that with meat. What do we got here? What do we got over here? We're gonna do some purple top turnips and some zucchini to balance it out, give a little bit of High water content to this meal. And it's just delicious. Who doesn't like zucchini? Kale. Don't leave the grocery store without it. Scallions. These bad boys will go in our scrambled eggs and they are the perfect foil. And a little radicchio. If you don't know what radicchio is, it's basically a little lettuce that is more bitter in taste. So it adds a little bit more of a robust flavor profile seriously and then we got a little bit of butternut squash straight from the pantry fresh this is going to serve as our starch instead of those greasy ass home fries that you get at different diners and restaurants this is going to be perfect and why butternut squash because it's high in vitamins and minerals it's not just starchy it also is uh, alkaline in the body. So something to think about is the acid alkaline balance. Potatoes, uh, very starchy, um, also more acidic to the body. So we wanna make sure that our body pH is properly balanced here. And this bad boy will do the trick. And while you're about to cut this uh, beautiful butternut squash, you're gonna wanna tune up your oven right so get it just above 400 degrees if you have convection that's even better because it's going to get that little bit of crispness on the outside that is just oh so delicious so tune it up see we got it just above 400 just a, kind of between 4 and 425 likewise whip out your most trusty cookware in our case heavy duty cast iron is the best it has the most amazing heat insulation and we got that fired up right now and uh, we'll be putting the bacon on the flat pan and then doing the vegetables the veggie medley in the deep dish dice your butternut squash horizontally in about one to two inch blocks and then cube that sucker nice and evenly and pile it all up and put it in a nice pan then you're gonna to wanna to put a little dollop of uh, fat, either olive oil, coconut oil, or I like to use bacon fat. That's right, animal lard, one of the best things ever to cook with. Just put a little glaze on it, one tablespoon's fine, um, just to kind of get it glistening a little bit. It retains that um, awesome crustiness afterwards, and then um, you know the salt kind of sticks to all the pieces, so that's a major plus, baby. Salt, a little pink Himalayan, but the best stuff on earth really is Celtic sea salt. I'm not gonna use that right now because this is just what's on the counter. So salt, pepper, grind it all, sprinkle it in just like the magic fairy dust and then incorporate it. So that it's all together, the fat and you know, your hands are gonna get a little greasy, but it's fine, trust me, it's gonna taste delicious. All right, now that you got all these uh, beautiful seasonings incorporated into your butternut squash, 
You're going to pop this baby in for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes or so. Kind of check on it, see how it's doing. We'll show you how it goes. Oh, there's my cat. Jumping in this picture. Miacho, man. Come on now. You know better than that. Oh, no. You like that. Oh, you like that. But I'm going to give you a tough drop if you don't stop right now, huh? Hey, give me. What do you, what do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, me too. That's right. Dig it. Now, time to do our farm fresh veggie medley. And for this veggie medley portion, we like to start off with... Um, Kind of the, the bigger root vegetables, either purple top turnip, rutabaga, celery root is amazing. So in this case, we have purple top turnip. Um, what you can do is while your pans are already heating, you want to put in a dollop of this bad boy, some unrefined extra virgin coconut oil, 100% organic, by the way. And uh, we'll put some a dollop, teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever, you know, whatever looks good to you. And then we're going to start with our already chopped up purple top turnips and then we're going to go and chop the zucchini the radicchio and then we'll top it with the kale because you don't want the kale to be at the bottom because it might burn while this whole thing is heating up so let me show you And because we're going for the long and slow process, you want to have your burner, uh, especially if it's gas, on about the lowest setting. You don't want to burn too badly, but you want to give it a nice char. And some delicious protein, bacon, and sausage going on the pan now. And now that you got your muscle makers on your pan, heating up, starting to cook, the one secret that I like to do is cover it. Why cover it? Because it cooks from the bottom to the top really well. It, it, it really staves away from burning your stuff and charring it too, too bad, especially if you have to step away um, and like, take a shower. Usually I'll set all my ingredients and then I'll go jump in the shower. And then once I finish, I jump out here and I start flipping stuff and then usually turn down the burners. And while we're waiting and all the food is cooking oh so deliciously, uh, we have those scallions, remember? We're going to chop these bad boys up, dice them up real fine, and put them into our eggs. Now that you get your scallions cut up nice uh, and fine, you're going to wait until the very last stage is the eggs. So you got to wait a little while for this, uh, all the ingredients and things to cook over here. The medley, the butternut squash, of course, our simmering protein. Um, and then afterwards, when all that stuff is done, that's when you crack your eggs. And until that beautiful moment when all your food is just about ready, you can interview your cats. Pro Elizabeth. Miss Pro Elizabeth, are you anticipating breakfast this morning? What's that? I think I heard it. Did you hear it? Pro Elizabeth, what's going on? What have you been, what have you been chasing this morning? Miacho Man, Miacho Man is now on the scene, ladies and gentlemen. Miacho Man, can you tell me, are you anticipating your breakfast or my breakfast? Which one? That is an unbelievable answer. The cream of the crop, yeah. Took two weeks vacation for the honeymoon A couple tickets all inclusive down in Cancun I couldn't get my money back so I'm in seat 7A I'm getting drunk on a plane I bet the fella on the out thought I was crazy Cause I taped your picture to the seat back right beside me Now I've got empty 
So we're around the 20 minute mark or so, and we're just going to give a quick look see to see how our butternut squash is doing. Bye -bye. Looking really good. I got a little bit of browning. We're going to go a little bit further because we, once we flip that veggie medley, we needed to put the ingredients that were on the bottom, the, the, the root vegetable, um, toward the top and kind of mix it in. And then you don't have to add any water when you're steaming this, by the way. You have medium, kind of medium-ish heat. And then it sort of, a, all the moisture within the zucchini especially um, in those root vegetables, it cooks itself. It's just a, an amazing thing. So just let it go. Let it do its magic, and it will come back to it right when it's done. My fans all over the world always ask me, Mark Tuff, are you a liberal? And I said, Absolutely. My salt use is totally completely liberal, baby. Put as much as you want to taste excellent. And trust me, all those vitamins and minerals from the proper salts will have your body fueled just right. All right, that bacon's looking pretty fine. It's probably going to be the first thing that's done, this meat, this package of deliciousness. And uh, we're going to pull this sucker off the grill before those soldiers get too charcoaly. To pędzimy z wiatrem My cyganie znamy cały świat All right, folks, we have our sausage, we have our bacon. It's sitting and resting, kind of letting that fat soak into this paper towel so it doesn't all clog up your body, even though that's a whole other mythology that we will have to talk about another time. But now, remember, we chopped up those scallions, and now... We're going to drain a little bit of that bacon grease, leave a little bit left so that we can start sauteing those scallions and get ready for the eggs because everything else is just about ready. My cyganie, wszystkim gramy, a śpiewamy sobie tak, ole, ole, so And if you're working with cast iron especially, you're going to want to scrape it down really nice and good, especially after bacon and sausage. Sometimes there could be some residual stickies. So scrape it down good and then throw on your scallions and start turning and burning. At this juncture, you're about ready for the eggs now. You want to probably pop your oven off because we just checked and it looks like the butternut squash is nice and cooked, um, nice and soft. You can fork test it uh, to see if it's going to puncture through. Uh, so we'll turn off our oven. We'll leave the convection on so it swirls the air around a little bit and keeps everything even. Um, and then we're going to really turn down the volume on uh, our veggie medley. And I think it's just about done. So um, we like to kind of pop the lid off a little bit, just leave it on the side, um, just kind of tilt it and I'll show you exactly how just so that the, the all the moisture doesn't sit inside of it and uh, all the water collects on the bottom you don't want soggy vegetables um, you want nice kind of crisp it'll be soft but it'll be delicious so. look how beautiful that is delicious Eggs are cracking. You're going to want to kill the heat now because uh, you're just going to let it um, work its cooking out through the residual heat in the pan. Trust me, it's going to be hot enough, especially if it cast iron. Uh -huh. 
And now you start the scramble process. Oh boy, how beautiful does that look? I mean, you start flipping it around and the reason you use that residual heat from the pan is because it won't cook those eggs too fast to make them nasty and dry. Trust me, a wetter egg is a better egg. And I'm just a huge fan of using the chop technique. You flip it over with that pancake spatula and boom, boom, boom. And now it's time for the plating special. And ladies and gentlemen, you have a full plated championship style farm fresh breakfast. And that, my foodie understudies, is how the unified, first ever unified GCW champion eats a championship style breakfast. Paleo style, autoimmune friendly. Thank the good Lord for all this blessings. And now, we'll see you next time. <laughs>